Now give me the beat. What's up, you guys? Simbo here here today. I'm here with. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, I've been. Uh, you guys have no idea how long I've been waiting for this game to come out ever since it's been announced on Twitter. Um, welcome to Dream Daddy, a daddy dating simulator. Um, if you guys don't know, this game was actually produced by uh, the Game Grumps. Game Grumps are obviously a popular uh, YouTube channel here on YouTube, um, but I believe this artists aren't aware this is their first game, and let me tell you, oh, I have heard so many good things, and I'm so excited. Um, a couple of the people who actually do the voices for this um, have act do actually also YouTube. Um, the guy who does this guy over here, that's actually uh, Ray Narvaez Jr. Um, I know that um, Matt wants to Matt wants to play, I believe is what his name is. Uh, Matt wants a game, something like that. He's in this game as well, as well as Barry from Game Grumps as well. He also voices a couple things in here. So, anyways, let's get right to it. Let's let's start a new game. Dad? Dad, wake up. <laughs> oh, pretend to be dead. I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad. This hasn't worked since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God... Amanda, I bequeath to you all of my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well, your corpse better get moving into the moving van because it's leaving soon. Oh. I finally opened my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of, a, of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Amanda Panda. Oh. Yikes, dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Well, that was a great start to it. I am already enjoying this. So, if I'm not mistaken, here is where we're going to be able to uh, make our character. I think. Build that dad. Build that dad. Build that dad. Okay. Um, actually, yeah, let, let's keep that body here. Uh, to dad, yeah, that's good. Uh, I am... We're, we're, we're leaving that on. Um, head. My head is not like that at all. Uh, it's more circular. Eh, we'll, we'll do that. That's a good option. Hair. I do have black hair. Uh, we're essentially building me, people. Just so you know. This is another Sims building thing. Um, I usually slick my hair back. And I, I have an undercut, so... My hair is short on the sides and then long on the top. So. That's probably the closest thing to it, to be honest. Okay, uh, I have green eyes. Oh, the Kalai. Oh, so, oh, I'm half tempted to put that one on, honestly. I'm not going to, though. Ooh, like a little invaders in my eyes. That's good, too. Oh, there's a lot of good options. I could mess around with those for ages. Uh, let us... Uh, yeah, those are good. Those are good. Upturned eyes. 
a nose. Um, I have a small nose, kind of. Uh, no, not that small. I'll go with that. That no, that's still a little off. Yeah, there we go. That's good. I like that. Mouth, I'm gonna leave the same. I don't know if that really. Oh, it changes everything else. I I like the mouth though. That's fine. Brows, brows, black brows, obviously. Ooh, it's bushiness going on there. Uh, let us no. That's way too bushy. Um, uh, I like that. Oh, no, nah, let's go with that. That's fine. Facial hair because I have a mountain of facial hair. Um, I have a full beard so going on, so it's either this. <laughs> let's turn it black first. Ooh, it's like a like a anchor beard. That's cool. Or we can just go full beard, full beard natural there. I'll go full beard natural. Uh, no glasses or piercings, so we're good there. Let's skip to clothes. Uh, ooh. Oh, Bergy, Burger, Bergy. Oh, I love Bergy. Uh, ooh, Danny Sex Bay. Oh man, that that just that's memories right there. Um, that's cool. Oh, the two egg nips. That's great. Flowers. I enjoy that. Oh, kitties. Oh, that's actually really cool. I, I actually like that uh, regular thing. Stars across the chest. That's great. Uh, heart shirt. Hawaiian kind of thing going on. I really enjoy these. These are nice. I think I'm actually gonna keep this. I I, I like this look. I, I I work a lot, so I really have to wear a lot of slacks, and I always have to have a button shirt on with a tie. But this place doesn't have a tie, so I'm just gonna do this. This is good. So looking good, Daddy. Name that dad. Name that dad. All right. So let us name me, and we'll do that. That is my name. Do not wear it out. And be that dad. Be that dad. Okay, I will be that dad. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. I'm already having so much fun with this. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done. I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait. Straggler, what's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos in little photo albums. Hey. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. Oh, there's a few pictures. I'm assuming this is her when she was a baby. Ah. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. The only way I Oh, ooh, okay. Um. Ah, so I don't know. I don't know if the game is trying to tell me something if I do one or the other. Are there moms in this? I didn't, I haven't seen any pictures with moms in, in the game. Um. Well, well, let's go down the mother route and see what would have happened. Because I think a, a lot of other people are on YouTube are doing the father thing, the only way your father and I. So let me be the outsider. Let me be the norm and um, do the mother and see what there gets me. The only way your mother and I could get you to stop crying was to put sunglasses on you. Whenever we tried to take them off, you started crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. Halloween when you were maybe four? <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon. So you went with both. Princess dragon. Mm. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Same. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Hmm? Right. Yep. Definitely repress that memory. 
and this was <laughs> i'm sorry and this was you in your horse phase mm. dad i believe you named the plush horse sir horsington the brave Oh man, Th this reminds me when I was a when I was a kid, um, I actually did have a horse. I, I went through a horse phase too, where I had a stick horse. <laughs> I di I don't remember giving him a name or anything, but but that. But I did go through a horse phase myself. Hmm. I don't think that was his Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Ooh, dad arms for days. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. Ooh. Ouch, kid. The Scommunist Manifesto had a chance back in the day. The Scommunist Manifesto. <laughs> I look off into the distance, reminisce about the Rad Horn section. The Rad Horn section. My god. Hey, it's Emma P. Aww. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Aww. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it like a little a bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who... Oh, um... What would have Emma P do? Uh, try to steal people's pets. I can see her doing that. Fired a flaming tennis ball at a police station. Pooped her pants during a sleepover. She looks like a little arsonist. Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket, right? Dad, that was you. Oh, jeez. Did I ever get caught? Oh, right. I was a wild child. I was six when you did it. Okay, Amanda, I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Dad. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, I got to show this to MR later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photograph award you ever won. Yeah, and it got us $20 gift card to McFridays. <laughs> and then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blast. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. Aww. Dad. Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. <laughs> Ugh. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down in the box and pulls out one last photo. Mm -hmm. Oh. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. <sighs> I finally decide to break the silence. Um. Ooh. Okay. Well, I'm guessing if we went the father out, it would be kind of obvious just to pick the adoption. But I mean, it's her mother. And I'm just kind of judging from this portion and from her face. Um, I'd say it was probably the day she was born. Yeah, more than likely. It's kind of a funny story. We got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender. But of course I was freaking out and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. And I didn't know what to do. But your mother, oh man. She holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes. The calmest I've ever seen her. She says, it's okay. It's all gonna be okay. She was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss her. I can't even imagine what it must like be like for Amanda. Huh. She pats me on the back. Come on, Pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Ah. Uh. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your mother and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. For 20 years, I have aged well. Mm. 
Hey, remember when I shattered the f front window playing cr catch? You always had very strong arms, but not as strong as my dad arms. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You're a very imaginative child. Hey, remember when I broke the back window play? We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. And there'll be plenty more stuff to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. Hmm. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It for will forever hold the place in my heart. But it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rear room there. So... So what? Hmm. So sell me on our new cool pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Oh, I was made for this. <coughs> Plus, I also need to clear my voice because I'm getting sick. Nestled in beautiful, scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features... Ooh, um... See, the thing is, I'm more excited about the two-car garage than anything else. Yeah, I'm sorry, two-car garage it is. That's right, you heard me. A garage big enough for not one, but two whole cars. As well as room for all of my very important dad tools. And my motorcycle. My sick hog. The old steel pony. Dad's little motor v velocipede? Velocipede? Velocipede. Uh. Dad. The two-wheel transportation station. Dad. I have never ridden a motorcycle in my life, and to be honest, I am afraid of them. <laughs> anyway, it's also smaller than our last home. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. Yes. I think it's great. Won't, won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to so I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know, Amanda, you know, you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Hmm. Not going to happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Huh? I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighbor the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Hmm. So you won't have a chance. Uh, you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn. You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Hmm. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically like uh, I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real. Hmm. Don't you dare. Seeing her. Hmm. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. Hmm. I'm just going to ignore that. The dad puns are so real right now. Oh. But I won't forget it. So what's the item number one in the new house agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go to the grocery shop and... Hmm. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. Awesome. Cool, that's a nice house. We pull out to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. I'm guessing not for long. Hiya! And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, Sweepy. I got a problem with authority. Oh, wow. I'm so proud. Man, all that karate cho chopping tucker me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, 
It's 10 a.m. So? Oh, but it's 10 a.m. What do I normally do at 10 a.m.? Um, ooh, coffee. Coffee, because I, I have a problem. I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice, or I'm gonna be useless all day. And with that, I will be calling coffee the old bean juice from now on. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out? Let's do it! We walk down the street to the coffee spoon. A cute little place on the corner. Yeah. Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Huh? What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me. And I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he's very much within my personal zone. Dad. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is, in fact, been somewhere just out of sight and you're that jerk who left their mug? Ugh. Dad, are you just afraid of meeting new people? Yes, Amanda. We walk inside. Ugh. Well, hello. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls, and patrons lounge around the well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on the record player next to a little stage. I do enjoy the music of this game so far. I really do like it. Hey, dude. Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of dumb, actually. Hey. It gets mentioned in this poem I like. And I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. Hmm. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time. And now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. But man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. So what'll it be? Oh my god, I love this guy already. Oh. I scanned the chalkboard menu and am immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a God's Godspeed you, black coffee. Ice Tegan and Sarah. Chai Antwood. Ooh. Um, in these in these three choices, um, from when I used to work as a barista, um, I would have gone with chai immediately, because the chai is a step off the a step up the tea ladder, and is obviously different from a nice tea. So I think I'm gonna go with the chai ant word. Oh. Spicy. Ooh, little hearts came out. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Die ant word is a South African rap group. They're pretty well known for their um, evocative, imaginary, and hyper-stylized music videos. Their music is is as catchy as it is disturbing. Well, I'm going to look this up right now and see if that's actually a thing. Uh, what was it again? Die. Oh my gosh, it's like the second thing that's on Google right now. <laughs> Uh, Die Antwoord is a South African hip hop group formed in Cape Town in 2008. It comprised rappers Ninja, Angulandi, Vasir, and producer God. Some of their songs are called Babies on Fire, Ugly Boy, I Flink You Freaky. Okay, so they're actually a thing. Hey. Matt. God. I'm doing the thing again. Hmm. But coming right up. Hmm. And for you. I'll have 
Uh, Macchiato DeMarco, please. Coming right up. Do you want that in smalls, medium, or biggie smalls? <laughs> Give up. Biggie smalls, my god. Um, uh, medium. Wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Um, I should change that, shouldn't I? Matt, Matt sets to making our drinks and Amanda and I take uh, one of the couches. What's the deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyways. Actually, I will let the man make his puns. I enjoy, I enjoy puns. Hey. Hey. Ska was cool once. Ska was, Ska was cool once. The couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's all right. Good lumbar support. We sink right into it. Okay. It's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. Yeah. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as comfortable with talking to other people as you are. I will give you that, Amanda. You should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. See? We're making progress. Matt sets our drinks at our table and immediately burned the roof of my mouth. Good one. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda and this is my dad, Joshua. Uh -huh. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. You gotta come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here all the lot. <laughs> hey. You know what? Let me get your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe, and I need help coming up with a name for it. Love banana bread. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first so uh, we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, really appreciate appreciate the flavor sensation of uh, Man and Nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that nan bread taste uh, if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would uh, commensurate with, um, I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. I was just going to give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right. Yes. That's Matt serves it to each a piece, and Amanda and I happily chow down. This is amazing. Hey, thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. Oh, secret ingredient, my god. Hmm. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a, I'll give it a shot. Ooh, um, banana bread Kennedy's, grateful banana bread, and right said banana bread. Oh... Uh, I'm going to go with the only one that I actually know, which would be Grateful Banana Bread, um, which is keyword for Grateful Dead. So, Grateful Banana Bread. <sighs> oh, black. Uh, like the jam rock band fronted by Jerry Garcia? Huh? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey, dude. Yeah, Grateful Banana Bread. Strong decision. That's art, baby. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that I just do it doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. Uh -huh. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Hey, dude. See? It sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We, sh we finish up our drinks and head out. Hey. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we have full of our caffeine, where to? 
Um, at this point, I would, after getting a cup of coffee, I would probably just kind of uh, drive around or something or walk around. So that's usually what I would do. So let's get some fresh air. Time to soak up that vitamin D, make our buddies nice and strong. Yeah, our skeletons are gonna get so strong, they're gonna hop right out of our bodies and crush cars with their bony fingers. The hell, Amanda. Amanda, I already have an irrational fear that my skeleton will one day escape the flesh sack and run amok. Please don't encourage it. Right, sorry. Uh, to the park. Amanda and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. Can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street. The flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Mm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroller over there? Government operative. Mm. We're on to you, baby. <laughs> We walk for a while and eventually end up in a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over there when... Heads up! Whoa. Ow! A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Woof! Ah. A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me. Wagging its tail. Oh my god. Whoever drew you. I love them. Uh, did you throw this thing at my head? Bark. He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god. This is the cutest dog. Impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Woof woof. How long do I have left? How do you? How did you know? Do you have tomorrow's lottery numbers? I want to know how long I have left. Grr. What's that? I'm already too late. My fate was predetermined from for me long ago. I have no real agency with this cruel lifetime. Rough, rough. You're right. I am the master of my domain. Your fate is unknowable. Thank you, wise dog. Our. You definitely could have caught that. Whoa. It's like looking in a ginger mirror. A guy in a Hawaiian d shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. Hey. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Well, you're traditionally not supposed to aim for someone's head. Uh, it's a new technique. Um, I'll catch it with my teeth next time. Yeah. You caught me off guard this round. Not again. Not ever again. Ha. Oh my god. Those were bland emojis. Ha ha. I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Joshua, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Ah. Hi. Ah. Your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on the checkered blanket. Uh, she's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. This is Daisy. She's reading the brother's Karamazov. Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? <laughs> Ten. She's a precocious little youngster. Whoa. My natural dad instincts kicked in. Oh my god, what is this music? Oh, I think I know what's about to happen. I must brag about my child's accomplishment. Oh no, it's happening. Yes! Yes! It's the best game ever. Brian, go on, Daisy, tell him about yourself. Um, I... That's my girl. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. 
Josh's HP, Brian's HP. Oh my God, this is great. Does it give you? It, it, it does give you options. Um, item brag dot DHTR. But that would be to switch out. Okay, so if I remember it properly, this is to switch out Pokemon. Can't switch daughters, man. <laughs> I, I, uh, oh, 10 out of 10. I love this game. 10 out of 10. Okay, uh, let's do just a simple brag. <coughs> Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations. Brian loses 10 HP. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. You lose 15 HP. Dang it. Brian's HP is 70. Okay, um, let's do another brag. Last week, I'm prompted, a man to help an old lady, old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful. Brian loses 20 HP. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president too, of course. Dang, my whole school doesn't even have a chess club or a computer lab. You lose 10 HP. Ooh, but I'm still winning. Okay, um, let's do an item. Uh, grade card, band-aid, child art, spelling bee photo. I feel like having this would be creepy. Child art, that's cute. Band-aid, that's weird. Uh, let's do the spelling bee photo. Fumbling through your phone's browser, you manage to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade uh, spelling bee. Wow, congratulations. Amanda, Daisy is getting... Daisy is getting prepped for, for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully, this will be her third win in a row. Yikes, you lose 5 HP. Daisy sold enough ca uh, candy bars this year to get the top prize, a canoe. We're taking it this weekend. How is that even possible, man? It could barely get one of those sticky hand things. It's extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. 1350. Okay, I need to use that band aid then. With a flourish, you produce a band-aid from your pocket. Take me and start to apply it to Amanda's arm. What are you doing, Dad? Being a protective parent. Oh, God. Anyone would agree it was an unusual gesture. You lose 10 HP. Well, I'm about to lose this. Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy? Man, it was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. Do this 10 HP. Okay, well... I think we still got one more thing. Um, grade card or child art? Do child art. You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing. A uh, cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Cute! It isn't very impressive, but Amanda generally appreciates you holding on to it. Brian loses 10 HP. You regain 20. Ooh, that's great. Daisy here all has all of her adult teeth. Never had a cavity either. And Amanda self-consciously pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. It's extra powerful. Use 20 HP. Welp. Uh, let's just do a brag. Uh, Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. Brian loses 10 HP. Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. And we're done! Even a man can't. He kind of bristles at that one. He was 20 HP. Dang, he's really got his beat. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Ah, 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 ah. Or did he have to add the insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? And just like that, we're out. That's great. So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood? We just moved in. Do you live around here? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch style on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscape. Does this, does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. Hey. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. 
Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell trotting along in tow. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? Hmm. Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. Ugh. Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Ho Sir Horsington the Brave and the Epic in Seven Parts by Amanda Potato. <laughs> we laugh of the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Um, ooh. It's probably a, a good idea to actually go back home and unpack at this point. Let's go home and unpack. We should head home. I'm going to need four hours minimum to figure out how to build the new bed and like not to have to sleep on the floor at night. Good call. Good call. <coughs> I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple of hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer and dryer unit is both washing and drying. And we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. <clears throat> First visitors already. I got walk over to the door and open it. Hello. <laughs> a handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes, hi, I'm Joshua. That's what my name is. Oh. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter, Christy, wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers. Hmm. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> we both share a laugh. Kids, right? Hey. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Well, thanks for the cookies. Amanda disappears with the mm. cookies. Amanda, come back and she's gone. <laughs> That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She mm. is a charmer. Daughters are tough. Sons are also uh -huh. tough. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. <laughs> I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try and raise more than two. <laughs> I have four kids. Well, I'm just going to go bury myself in a hole now. What have you done? Oh, um, I mean, hmm. don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. Oh, no. This is the first neighbor I've met. And my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Is the missus around? No, not anymore. Um, she died. Ugh. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both uh. made things. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? Okay. I look at Joseph quizzically, but calmly. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. <laughs> oh. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? I love you, Joseph. <laughs> That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. It really isn't, though. No, it is. We handshake. We shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. <clears throat> Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Huh. Hey, in all seriousness... Raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about 
stuff. I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Well, that explains the that explains the sweater around your neck. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Yeah. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. God. And with that, Joseph's gone, and with that, I'm blushing like an idiot. You seem nice. Amanda walks back into the living room. Crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recovery I have ever seen. I should be taking notes. See? You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? They're gone. I'm sorry. Yes. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway. Finger guns. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Uh, well, I guess there's only one option. Joseph probably wants his plate back. I think we got a ton of good neighbor points if we bring his back. Uh. We're going to be the best neighbors in the whole cul-de-sac. We're going to kick kick all the other neighbors' butts. With kindness. Man and I step outside. Uh. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house is his. Mm -hmm. I'd hazard a guess it's the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. <laughs> I remember we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it right. Keep it right, keep it tight. Keep it light. Keep it right. In and night, in and night, in and tight. Something. I don't know. <laughs> we walk up to the kids and wave. Oh... No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Hey, kids, is your dad around? They all just stare at us blankly. We just wanted to uh, return this nice plate and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are Joseph's kids. They all look exactly like him. Christy? Ah. They were really good. Christian? I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. Chris? I chuckled nervously. <laughs> well, okay, we're gonna set this plate down on the ground real gentle and then back away slowly, right, Dad? Right, that's what we're gonna do. The kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back even as we approach our house. Huh. Okay, hold on. Um, I need something to get off, get my mind off those carbon copy kids. Uh -huh. I need to rest my eyes. Mm. You've been awake for what? Three hours? And that's three hours too many. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up from behind us. Joshua, bro! I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Oh. Bro. Bro. Oh. Holy wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. Uh -huh. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? The dude's freaking ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Crank. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. <laughs> hello, and hello, cute baby. Oh. Aw, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude, River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up on exams with bad hangovers, and next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Mm -hmm. I was working out in California, hence hence the, the way that I talk, man, and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. Fun fact, um, I actually was born in California, and I grew up in California for about... 
uh, six years. So I still have the tendency of doing, of saying dude a lot and also saying the word like thrown into like every sentence. And it just happened there. And I just realized how odd I sound. Anyways, that's just the thing. No kidding. A man and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? Oh, man. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. I don't know. She actually still goes by Smashley. And uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude. I'm so sorry. Oh. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Hmm. Ain't life something, bro? Right? Keg Stan Craig is a father of three. Hmm. Keg Stan Craig? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's my name. That's my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Hmm. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Hmm. Right. He was very good at it. Hmm. Uh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and really got to keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, uh, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year. But give up about 30 minutes after and uh, just walk home. Oh. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Haha, <laughs> I don't know. Hey. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could uh, do a bro branch just like the good old days. All right, sure, sounds great. Mm. Great, let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm really. Mm. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like a th it was a normal thing people did. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. Huh. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Oh, gosh. A man and I flop down on the couch. A man has a, to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she huh. can sit. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff back into these boxes in a few months. Ooh, in a few months? Why do we need to put stuff into the boxes in a few months? And with that cliffhanger, I'm going to leave you guys there. Uh, we did a good number of things. We met how many people? We met uh, we met Matt. We met Brian. We met Joseph. And we met um, Craig again. He's our friend. But I that's only four people. Um, when it comes to these dating sims, there's usually six as far as I know. So, and then when we were in Matt's coffee shop, we saw that guy peer out of the corner. So, I'm wondering if he's a dad, too. So, we'll see if he comes in. There has to be a, a, another another dad. There has to be a sixth one. So, I'm wondering who the last two are. So, I don't know. Either way, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please let me know by commenting down below and sharing this video. Because, because dads are important, too. And being being the daddiest of dads, whoever did dad, is uh, is is something to strive for. So, I I really I, I really want to be the daddiest of dads one day when I grow up. I'm 23 and I don't have any ideas of what it takes to be a real dad yet because I'm not a dad. Either way, I'm rambling at this point. Matt and I would be perfect. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. And we'll see what's going on with Amanda's life. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.